Hi everyone, March 21 is World Down Syndrome Day and today we celebrate the lives of children and adults living with Down Syndrome and the families that support them. Although at times Down Syndrome may be addressed as a disability, more and more kids and adults living with Down Syndrome make positive and unique contributions to the society. Just like the trisomy, we need to take a three-pronged approach when we work with Down Syndrome. The first is to create awareness. The second is to share amazing success stories. And the third, the most important, is to create the right kind of opportunities for every child and adult with Down Syndrome to reach their highest potential. So what is Down Syndrome? Down Syndrome is the most common chromosomal condition that occurs in people worldwide. About 1 in 800 babies that are born with present with Down Syndrome. We usually have 23 pairs of chromosomes that we inherit from our parents. People with Down Syndrome would present with one extra copy of chromosome 21, making it three copies of chromosome 21, hence the trisomy 21. Doctors will tell you that the child may have challenges in the motor milestones, in learning and in communication. But this becomes an opportunity for us as parents to support our child through the journey that they will make all through their life. Work along with an occupational therapist to support your child through the motor development. Secondly, with communication and speech, have a stimulating environment at home and also take the guidance of a speech therapist. With learning, your role in understanding what your child can do and finds challenging goes a long way in supporting their progress. Some people with Down syndrome may present with additional mental conditions. Speak to your doctor and get evaluated for heart conditions, for instance, or there might be some respiratory disorders, endocrine or gastroenterology related issues. Um, in genetics, since Down syndrome is majorly a chromosomal disorder, we diagnose the syndrome using a technique called karyotyping, where we assess 23 pairs of your chromosomes and we look for additional material of chromosome 21. As parents, when a child receives a diagnosis very early, we tend to become complacent with behavior. Please don't do that because if we allow behavior problems to set in early, they stay on for a very long time and become difficult to correct. It's important for us to practice positive behavior strategies right from day one. Model what you would like your child to learn right from day one. Two, make sure that when you see a behavior that you like, you're supporting the child and helping them develop it over a period of time. And most important, when you find a behavior that you would like to correct or change, be consistent, be firm, but most importantly, be kind. Because this helps the child acquire new skills over a period of time. Meenakshi and I will be making videos specific to Down syndrome and I hope you will enjoy them. But today, we take this opportunity to wish you all a very, very happy Down syndrome.